In this video, I'll give you an overview of how to get started with TraderView. After creating a new account, the first thing we want to do is import trades from our broker. So, we'll click Import Trades. From the Import page, choose your broker or trading platform from the drop-down list. For this example, we'll pick Lightspeed. Over on the right side, you'll see a set of instructions for how to import data from the particular broker you've selected. In this case, we'll use Lightspeed's automatic import method. So we'll enter our username and password, we'll choose a date range that we want to import trades from, and we'll click the Import button. We'll then see a message that our import is processing. This normally only takes a few seconds, so we'll click Refresh Status. And now we can see the import's completed, and there were 243 executions imported. Now that we have some trades imported, let's take a look at how to get around in TraderView. Near the top, are links to your account settings and to log out. Just below that is the navigation bar. Below that is an alert box that tells you the status of the last operation that happened. Below that, we have the global filter bar, which allows you to filter your trades based on various attributes. When it's gray, that means the filter is not active and you're seeing all of your trades. But if we type, say, rim into the symbol box and click the filter button, then the filter will be active and will only be looking at trades for RIM. You can see the filter bar is now green, which means the filter is active. If you click the clear button, that will turn the filter back off and we'll see all of our trades again. Now let's look at the details for one particular trade by clicking its detail link. On the trade detail page, in the upper left corner, you'll see the overview information about the trade, such as the volume and the P&L. In the middle of the page, you'll see the individual trade executions that make up this trade. And down near the bottom of the page, you'll see price charts from when this trade occurred. By default, we'll see daily and five minute charts, but we can change that and add whatever charts we want. Let's add a one minute chart. We'll click on add chart. We'll choose one minute from the drop down time frame, And now we can see a one minute chart. On each chart, you'll see green and red diamonds representing your buy and sell points in that trade. This is really useful when you're reviewing your trades later. If you click the running P&L tab, you'll see running P&L charts for the individual trade on the left and for your entire trading day on the right. The yellow stripe over on the right hand side shows you exactly how this particular trade fit into your day overall. One of the powerful features in TraderView is the ability to assign tags to trades which you can filter on and analyze later. To add tags to a trade, click the Add Tags link. Enter in your tag, in this case we'll use Earnings, and click Save. You can also add notes to a trade, which is great for reviewing later. Click Add Notes, and enter in your notes about that particular trade. Then click Save. Now we'll go back to the Trades view. Now off camera, I'm going to add notes and tags to a few more trades. Okay, there we go. Now that we have some trades in the system, let's take a look around. Let's click on the dashboard, which will normally be the first page you see when you sign into TraderView. What we see here is a summary of the last trading day that you had, including the trades that you made, how much volume you did, etc. And we'll see your recent performance from the last five trading days, along with the list of trades that you've shared and any comments that you've gotten on those trades. Next, let's look at the journal. In the journal view, you'll see your trading activity broken out by day. For each day, you'll see your stats, your running P&L, and a list of trades that you made on that particular day. Similarly to how we can add notes for individual trades, you can also add notes for a trading day. Just click on Add Notes, enter in the notes that you want to save, and then click Save. Now let's take a quick look at the reports available. In the Reports view, the first tab is Overview, which shows our P&L performance broken out by year, by month, and by day of the month. In this case, we'll click on March, and we'll see our trading performance by individual day in March. The second tab on the Reports view is the Detailed view, which shows you statistics about your trading performance, as well as analyzing your data in various different ways. We see this data grouped in several groups, the first by instrument, price, and volume, 
The second by days and times. Next by market behavior. Next by win-loss ratio and trade expectation. And by ad remove liquidity statistics. Each of these reports can show either aggregate PL or a per trade average. If you want to see average data, click on per trade average, and then each individual report will show you an average per trade rather than the totals. There are many other reports available as well, but we'll cover those another time. So that's it for our quick overview. Time to import some trades and see how you can improve your trading performance.